hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you want to see more diy decor potty props event design with a sprinkle of balloon decor today i'm going to show you how to make this very trendy backdrop i am very happy to add it to my inventory here we go all right guys so here is the material that i'm going to be using to make my backdrops and this is the material that I've been raving about that looks almost like acrylic, the white acrylic, and I love it. <laughs> it is great. It is only $13. Hold on one second. I have a picture for you. Here it is. This material is called Thrifty White Panel Board. I am going to add my round backdrop video at the end of this video, and you're basically going to follow the same instructions, plus adding this to the top of it and you love it because look how nice and shiny it is all right let's move on and i wanted to show you my inspiration there it is these are beautiful i usually see them with flowers i rarely see these with balloons but i'm going to um, use balloons at the end so i'm going to make that one and this one but facing the opposite direction so basically this one and that one but that one's a little bit too short let's do it To Tracy Backdress Curve, I am going to use this Bendy PEX tube that I got from Home Depot. The panel is 4 feet by 8 feet and it is a little bit too tall. I am going to cut the height first before I start tracing the curve. So I'm going to make it about 6.5 feet. So you have to be very uh, careful and be delicate with this panel. You can just bang it all over the place, okay, because it will shift. Um, Alright, so I kind of like damaged it on this side, so I'm going to make my curve come in this way so I can just cut the part out. I'm using my jigsaw to cut and I also use a metal blade so it can cut really really fine and smooth. backdrop sturdy I am going to add a couple of pieces of wood to add a spine to it so it can stand up straight and not like flop <laughs> uh, since I'm not placing another piece of wood behind it I'm just going to use that because I think that's enough for this particular backdrop so I am going to cut it first and I'm going to be using my round saw to do that um, if you don't have a round saw, <laughs> you can use a regular hand saw or you can ask the guys at Home Depot or Lowe's to cut the piece of wood for you. This piece of wood is, uh, I believe, $2.39 a piece. For the other side of the backdrop, I'm only going to be cutting this piece of wood from here to right here. Now I'm going to make the other backdrop and it's basically the same thing. The only difference is that this one is a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to make my second backdrop only six feet tall, which means that I'm taking away only six inches from the height and I'm also going to take away six inches from the width. I'm going to use my previous panel to help me make the curve on my new panel. For the panels to face the opposite direction from the other, you want to keep the new panel facing brown side up and you want the first panel to face uh, white side up on top of it. Now I'm going to cut and I'll be right back. Alright, so now it's time to add the support for the backdrop and I'm going to first glue the pieces of wood onto the panel and I'm using Tight Bond Premium Wood Glue. And I'm just going to add a decent amount because you don't want it to slip all over the place because you've got to add a bit of weight over it. But when you place a little bit too much, um, sometimes it starts sliding. You don't want to add too little either. So just, you know, find a happy medium. All right, guys, so I'm going to do the same to the other one of camera. And then I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'm going to go to the next step tomorrow because it is getting late and I am tired and hungry. So tomorrow I will add the legs and I'm also going to paint it. So I'm very excited about that. Okay guys, so today is the next day and 
it's raining so I cannot paint I am hoping that this is not going to be an all-day thing so I can paint a little later but other than that it might have to stay white so it finally stopped raining and it is about 6 p.m. actually I think about 6 30 so I'm kind of like running against time here before it gets dark anyway as you can see the two sticks on the backdrop are nice and dried and it's glued on there it's not gonna go anywhere but I want to still secure it a bit more what I'm going to do is use my nail gun to secure even more with a couple of nails right here at the top and then down here at the bottom on both sides so now I am going to be placing the legs on the backdrop and they are going to go down here at the bottom I usually make my own out of wood out of the same stick right here I usually have some left over and I use the rest to make the L stand but I decided not to do that this time <laughs> so I decided that I was just going to buy this um, 8 by 12 these are 8 by 12 heavy-duty shelf brackets I got this at Walmart for five dollars and thirty cents they are heavy-duty so they have a little weight to them so I like that they also come with its own screws so that's great so I'm just gonna go ahead and screw them at the bottom of my sticks down here with my drill you always want to drill a hole that's a bit smaller than your screw okay and you don't want to drill the hole too deep either because you need something to grip it and grab it oh I hear water I hear water oh my gosh it's raining again <sighs> okay I'm back <laughs> it stopped raining again this is insane so now I'm going to paint this backdrop in a silver light lock make sure that you spray at a distance at least 10 inches to a foot away so you won't get any drips and there they are they are still a little bit wet that's what you see right here where it is a little darker I'm going to use thumbtacks to help me hang my garlands I'm going to be attaching them from the spines of the backdrop so the couple of sticks that you guys remember are on the back I'm going to place them on there. I have been wrestling with these balloons for about an hour. <laughs> And I'm finally satisfied I do need something something else all right guys this is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please make sure to subscribe leave me a comment let me know your thoughts on this backdrop let me know what you think of the overall look and make sure to share 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 with your friends so you can save them a buck or two all right guys until next time love you